Yo, we're talking about Ghost here today, and I'm bringing you guys another comparison video between the NZ41 and the STG. Now, I'm making this comparison actually because one of my viewers in one of my videos, I believe, I posted a comment about the NZ41 and how it could potentially be better than both of the weapons that I made a video on in that specific video. And I decided to check it out because he was, you know, maybe think that, yeah, you know what, the NZ41 technically is a gun that I didn't really even think about because it actually ended up receiving a buff in this update. And the only thing that was wrong with this weapon, or this weapon was the thing that got buffed, was just like the recoil and just overall like accuracy. And so I decided to try it out again, see if it was good, and what I'm talking about, see if it's better than, say, an STG. But before we dig into this video, I want to see if you need to channel hit the subscribe button. I know it's 2000 or about 100 subs away, a little bit less now. So every sub that helps and is always appreciated. But uh, yeah, man, that being said, let's get into this comparison. And then we have the Google pattern for the NZ41. Now, this has got to be one of the worst Google patterns I've ever seen in my life. It's so just, just sporadic and weird and. That actually greatly reflects on the weapon itself when you actually use it. Because this weapon, man, it's, man, it's kind of sad because when this integration first came out, we were all kind of like thinking that this gun was going to be the meta. But that, like, essentially died almost instantly when people started talking about the Automaton and other guns like that. And then the NZ41 just kind of fell out. And I never really understood it until right now. When I used the MP41, I was just very, like, disappointed. Like, it's typically when I use it in the past, because I made a ton of MP41 videos, it didn't feel as bad as it did right now. Like, and I'm not talking about, like, damage or anything like that, because this gun actually kills pretty fast. It has a really, really high damage before we get into just a second. But the problem with this gun is the just accuracy. It... To me, is probably one of the worst guns in terms of accuracy. Like, I have not used a weapon as bad as this in terms of accuracy. Like, this is a certain point with this NG41 where it's just unusable. Like, for example, in this clip, at that range, bro, it's you're not killing him, or at least I'm not killing him. And I gotta say, if you guys actually have a class set up for the NG41, please let me know uh, because. I, I partially think it's the weapon, but I also partially think it's the class setup. And I tried a ton of different attacks, but the class setup that you guys saw uh, just like a minute ago, um, that was literally a combination of just me trying like five different class setups because I was really trying to figure something out. And I think I actually did come up with a decent class setup, a way better class setup than I tried um, because the problems that I was having at range did end up kind of coming less but it was still like still there um like at certain ranges this gun for me was just straight uncontrollable whereas like if i use an SDG, if i use the bar a brand or whatever it may be like it, it wouldn't have been a problem but this gun just for whatever reason the accuracy was just i don't even know maybe record actually i don't know what it is but it was just all over the place and there was literally there was a game specifically i remember where um i was I was literally trying to hold the team, and bro, these were literally the easiest kills that I could have got. Cause everything pushing from storm, and I just I couldn't do anything because the, the, the it was the gun wasn't hitting, just, it wasn't able to hit. I, my my crusher was right on them. Just like if I had an SVG, I would have killed all of them. But I had an MG for the run, and it was just it was just okay. tough, man. And it's kind of sad because I felt like this weapon was given all the tools to succeed, and yet it feels. Like, it's, it's still not able to be the weapon that I hope it would be. Um, but, that doesn't mean that this gun isn't bad, because it still has the tools to be good, and it's still pretty good in certain scenarios. And with that being said, let's just get into the SDG and the stats. And then we have the Inca Fighter for the SDG. As you guys can see, a complete difference from the NZ41. A pretty just set recoil pattern. Um, and this gun, man, no recoil. Pretty easy to use. Um, it's literally got buffed for that in the mid-season update, which the NC41 did too, but I'm starting to realize that that's probably not the buff that it needed. I think, more than anything, it needs a a recoil pattern adjustment. And I know they've done that in the past, and I think they need to actually do that for the NC41, unless, like, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, like, if, if so, like, please let me know. Like, please give me a class out of that, like, just isn't bad, because 
I feel like I just don't have any luck with making class events, and so if you do have class events, again, let me know. But from what I've used and I've tried to use, I definitely think that the Ninja 41, if they were to make a change, I would say they need to readjust the Rico pattern and then nut the damage a little bit because the damage on this weapon is actually really, really insane. And you know, we'll get into it just right now. So, with that being said, speaking of damage and whatnot, let's get into some stats. And so, for the first stat that we have is the fire rate. And for the NC41, we have a 500 RPM. And then for the SCG, we have a 600 RPM. Um, again, you know, nothing too crazy. The NC41 definitely, you could, you could hear how slow it is. And I've tried using the fire rate attachments. I specifically do use the mag that gives me fire rate. Um, I think it's the last one, the, the soccer mag, I think it was called. Um, and then I tried using the Rico Booster in the past. I thought it was working. Um, this time around, I felt like it was just not not helping. So I just I just have to revert back to a suppressor. Um, but if you feel like the mags are not enough, please you know feel free to use the Rico Booster. Just be careful though because I didn't have any luck with it. You probably might have luck. Just make sure to experiment. Don't like make one class setup with it and then be like, oh, it doesn't work. Okay, it's a bad gun. Now like, you really gotta experiment with NC41 to try to bring out the best of it as much as you can. Um, so, you know, just be aware. Um, and then for the SCG, obviously, 600 RPM. It's pretty solid, pretty decent. Um, not the fastest, but you know, it's not not too slow. It's definitely not slow on the 41 um, And I, I don't think I use a fire rate attachment for this weapon. I don't think I need to. I think if I wanted to, I obviously could. But I think my cluster is pretty solid, so I don't I don't really mess with that type of stuff. Um, but anyway, what I said there was uh, get into the stats. And for the NC41, this one's going to be a little wild. But you're over 31 meters for the NC41, we have 60 damage to the head, 52 to the neck, 44 to the chest and stomach, and 40 to the chimneys. If I remember correctly, this is actually the exact same damage sets as the bar, yet yeah, both of these weapons, <laughs> like, play out differently. And if the NC41 is close to the bar, Much then better. it was very close to the burner, so I think even slightly more powerful than the brand. And that's kind of crazy to say, because the brand was obviously, like... The, you know the, the solidified meta for quite some time. And I think it might even be right now. But the NG41 damage wise, like, it's it's able to compete. It's just that little thing of it not being able to be properly accurate is the one thing that holds it back. And I really think that if they were to rework the recoil pattern and just lower the damage, because you guys hear the damage. Like if, obviously, if they make this gun no recoil, then it would be a really really big problem because you know, no recoil, a lot of damage, then we would just have a, another one of those medals where, you know, we, we would hate, and it would just be more fun. But anyways, moving on over to the SCG for 0 to 31 meters, we have 45 damage to the head and neck, 33 to the chest, 33 to the stomach to the extremities. And obviously, man, the damage is definitely a favorite than 41 And I think at this, these ranges, um, Nancy 41 definitely, like, is a threat. But then when we move over to the longer range, which we get to just a sec, that's when the NZ41 gets a little wonky. A little, I would say inconsistent. Um, but anyways, moving over to the long range for 31 meters and above. We have 45 damage to the net head for the NZ41, 39 to the neck, 33 to the chest and stomach, and 32 to the extremities. Again, still pretty powerful, um, but you know that all really depends on how many shots you can hit. And then for the SCG for 31 meters and above, we have 39 to the head and neck, 28 to the chest, 26 of some main extremities. Um, and again, here I feel like these longer ranges, the SCG gets a little bit closer in damage. Range. It's still not as powerful, but you know, again, like I mentioned, it all really depends on the shots that you're hitting. Now, I may be over exaggerating, I might have just had a bad day uh, yesterday when I was using it. I mean, that's pretty well, it may not be as like, crazy as I'm making it out to be because I had success with it in the past. I also had instances where I couldn't hit shots at certain ranges, um, but it also could just be due to me. Like, don't take my, I guess, skill as yours. You could probably, you know, potentially be able to have more success with it than I did in terms of controlling it. But at least just like at certain ranges, bro. Like, it doesn't even matter how good a guy you may be. Like, it quite literally feels impossible due to the actual mechanics of the gun to hit shots. Like, I, I don't know how to explain. I really don't know how to explain, but. As you guys saw with that recoil pattern, like, typically when you see recoil patterns on these guns, like, it honestly doesn't really matter because most of these guns literally have no recoil. And a lot of these recoil patterns are very, very simple. And, you know, when you put on your attachments, it, it just doesn't matter. But this might be the first time where I really feel like the recoil pattern on a gun is actually showcased when you're using the weapon. And 
That Z41, bro, like, again, if they, just, if they could just fix that recoil pattern and just make it not, like, straight, obviously, but just not have it jump from left to right and then back to left, you know, like, how they have it jumping around, I think we can have a really good weapon. And in conclusion, um, when it comes to this comparison, I do think the NZ41 is a really good weapon. It definitely has the tools to be great. But would I pick it over an SCG? Not necessarily. I just don't think the NC41 has the consistency that I'm looking for. But again, if you guys have a class setup that could potentially change my mind about the NC41, please let me know. I should have asked the person that made that comment. Um, but anyways, man, that being said, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.